Hi, hi. I am Anna and we are filming this video live on stream. Guys, you playing Diablo Found. You completed the story and here you are in the game. What you supposed to do now? What are you doing after you actually finishing the story? Uh, where to go? What to start? How? To do it uh here is for you guys we just finished the story on this rogue and uh, literally they did nothing so far but just teleported to kiavashat right after i completed the story so what i will be doing now after the story no first thing that you see here speak with the tree of whispers you immediately have the talk the conversation the quest available for you speak with the tree of uh, uh, whispers this is not a story quest this is not a uh, obligatory quest so to say so it's a yellow quest it's uh, it's a white quest it's not a yellow quest from now on you're not gonna have the yellow quests in this game guys because the story is over which is sad but the expansions are coming and well what do you need to do you need actually to unlock the higher difficulties of the game now you need to complete this dungeon cathedral of light this dungeon is level 50 plus it's a really long dungeon it's like two dungeons together and it has a really nice boss in the end this dungeon has a monsters level 50 plus and the boss is level 50 plus and he's nasty and no one likes him and uh, for example we finish the campaign when my character is level only 41 i don't think that my character will be up to the task so far uh but we can always try it at 41 you can also try it earlier than your character is reaching level 50 uh but yeah probably you will have to farm you will have to do something else to be able to complete this dungeon. Why do you even want to complete this dungeon? Because it's the challenge that lies ahead of you. Actually, the all end game activities you are unlocking after you are reaching this capstone dungeon, after you are unlocking world tier 3. There is a lot of new things appearing there. So, first thing that you would do, you would yeah, go to the Tree of Whispers, speak with the Tree of Whispers. Let's go there talk there and here we are at the tree of whispers we're gonna talk with the tree of whispers and we're gonna get our first quest from the end game here we go the tree is talking for us this is the first time basically introduction from the game collect 10 green favors then return to the tree of whispers and then if you will go to the map you will see a bunch of quests appeared by completing them you will then return to the tree of whispers and tree of whispers will give you the cache the cache will have a bunch of items bunch of resources uh a bit of xp it will also give you and while you're completing those quests you also will be getting xp which you really need yeah you need to level your character you need to make your character a bit stronger to be able to complete the dungeon uh, the capstone dungeon unlock higher difficulty if you're not that much interested in this in the next difficulty tier and you just really really miss the story of this game because the start the story is cool if you want to see more of it guys you can always you can all you can always focus on the blue quests these are the side quests in this game and there are gigantic and uh, insane amount of uh, blue quests in this game for example this area is called Havaza. you can see it on the map and it has 49 side quests some of them are just short some of them are just uh, go pick up something bring back pretty much that's it but some of them has actually stories has like a full stories if within them with the dialogues with the with the beautiful pieces with some details about the game and they are really really they, the parts of those side quests are more beautiful than the things that were shown in the story so highly recommend you be and besides actually why do you need to do the side quests because side quests are part of the renown system in this game and renown system is the wonderful system which is pretty much making you explore everything in this game in every zone there is the set amount of quests set amount of waypoints uh, altars of lily dungeons 
and strongholds, uh, by the way, that you need to complete to unlock all the renowned rewards. How to see the renowned rewards? Well, you uh, go into your map and you're going, you're pressing W standard and you will see the renowned. It's a region progress page. You will see all the rewards that you can get, all the, on what you should work, where you are in which region. By the way, yeah, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, I need to work. I need to do a lot of, a lot of things. And yeah, what, how you need to progress. This system is giving you a lot of, a lot of buffs, making you explore the areas and the buffs that you are getting from this renowned system, they will be transferred to your second character. So if you will decide to now explore the game with a, with a different character, uh, you will immediately start not from zero, but you will all immediately from the very beginning get the buffs that you got from the renowned system. So really cool feature which is allowing you to uh, fall uh, to level your second character way way faster than uh, your first one so yeah one of the things that's also happening after you are completing the campaign will be the world boss starting spamming every again guys couple of hours uh, here the world bosses are appearing in the different parts of the map you will see this notification that the world boss is gathering his pieces to appear i guess so the world boss fight begins you can see here the countdown it uh, begins in 23 minutes usually the timer is appearing on the map 30 minutes prior to the event so you have time to finish whatever you were finished uh, you were you wanted to finish and you have time to go to the part of the map where world boss will appear this is the gigantic gigantic monsters that are dropping you insane insane loots just the fights are uh, really really interesting must say the cinema the cinematic the whole mechanics of those bosses are really really cool and once a week they're giving you the weekly bonus the weekly kasha uh, that has ultimate rewards and but every time when you're defeating the world boss you're anyway also getting some rewards from this guy okay you did bunch of side quests bunch of quests for renown you did a bunch of tree of whispers you let's imagine you leveled your character somewhere closer to level 50 you drew, you went to the capstone dungeon and you defeated the main boss you defeated the dungeon you unlocked world tier 3 what will be happening there and why do you want to go there for these guys i need to switch on my second character on my necromancer who already unlocked world tier 3 and even world tier 4 let's go and here we are in world tier 3 on the necromancer on the best character guys what can we do here we can do here of course tree of whispers they're always there a bunch of bunch of bunch of quests you can do in the tree of whispers and you can also here in world tier 3 right now it's unfortunately not available on my character but uh, be just because the time is wrong uh, but in the world tier 3 the hell tight will be available for you every guys two hours chat correct me uh the hell tight is appearing here this is a special zone on the map where the monsters are stronger and the the more happiness is happening the more fighting is happening tell that is the area where the monsters are always a couple of levels higher than you are than your current character and uh, this is the area where you can farm special currency cinders and there you can spend them on the special chests uh, where you and you can get gear from those chests in the hell tides there are always there is a trick there are always two mystery chests in the hell tide those chests are giving you the best awesome rewards and so uh, they're just amazing amazing rewards guys you need to go for those chests besides besides that on world tier 3 what you can do you can do the nightmare dungeons for them you need to open those dungeons you need the sigils you are getting the sigils from completing the tree of first time from completing the tree of whispers quest uh in the cache from the tree of whispers you will get it and then you can get them in the, the other sigils can be dropped in the nightmare dungeons the sigils are transforming the dungeons each time in something else no well not quite you're doing the same dungeon but 
you have some affixes to the dungeon and on each sigil the affixes are different i think there is a pool of 30 affixes in total right now in the game so there are 30 different options one can drop on your nightmare sigil and how it, it can modify the dungeon the coolest sigil of all time guys is the one that's giving you magic find buff here on the first dungeon affix you will have the monsters are dropping more loot more gear somehow like this is called but it's basically uh how it's actually working in reality you are just getting more items and you are, you have the, the high chance to get uniques the other awesome items that are dropping from world tier free guys you just need so yeah that's why you're going to the nightmare dungeons and uh, nightmare dungeons is kind of your challenge go higher in the nightmare dungeons go try to defeat higher monsters try to do everything in the nightmare dungeons and also guys after your character will reach level 50 you probably already will be in the world tier 3 you are unlocking the new way of progression for your character you're going into your abilities and your skill tree and here will be available for you the paragon tree paragon boards this is incredibly beautiful this is so beautiful guys this is the whole uh, incredible system of paragon progression in this game and basically after level 50 you're starting earning not the points for the skill tree uh, but you're starting earning the points for Paragon board. And every level that you are getting, it will bring you four Paragon points. Here they are. Four Paragon points that you are equ you're putting in this board. You're starting here. Every point is one node. And you're progressing in the Paragon board, unlocking more and more buffs for your character. Different buffs, different stats, different glyphs and even different legendary powers are available in the Paragon board. This is the whole new world will be open for you after your character is reaching level 50 and unlocking Paragon board and reaching world tier 3 and unlocking a bunch of new activities in this game. And that's how you're going in the game after you are finishing the campaign. There is also a um, big surprise guys in this game yeah you can reach level 100 this is your maximum level for your character and today around level 100 you will be able to face uber lilith there is uh, basically guys so uh, there is a uh, lilith that you fought in the campaign sorry for someone is a spoiler um but yeah there is level 100 lilith in this game which you theoretically wanna defeat maybe you don't but maybe you wanna so but this is this highest challenge in the end is waiting for you so if you wanna grind really really hard if you will gather if you will gather the the insane insane items upgrade your character insanely then they are far away from you there is uber lilith waiting waiting so far we are like one week um how many like a little bit more than 10 days in the game when i'm actually filming this video and so far um not so many players could do this could defeat her uh and uh, i think only barbarian and rogue so far defeated her so yeah other characters are so far we're waiting for glorious moments of defeating who will be defeating uber lilith and how and in which build so yeah guys yeah Uber Lilith is waiting in case, just a cherry on top for you. But to be overall, go explore the game, guys. Go see this beautiful world, do the quests, do the hell tides, do the nightmare dungeons, do absolutely everything. And most importantly, guys, have fun. Sanctuary is waiting for you. Sanctuary always needs uh, the protectors. Uh, Sanctuary needs the heroes. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, chat. Big, big thank you for helping. And uh, see you soon in the sanctuary.